Hi, this is Math with Townsend, and I'm Miss Townsend. So we're talking about the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative. This is question 2. It says the points negative 5, 2, negative 2, 3, and x8 lie on the same line. Find x. So using this information, we need to solve for the unknown called x. Now, you might be tempted to get out a piece of graph paper, but because this is the analytic geometry summative, we're supposed to be using algebra. So let's see what we can do. Well, they're all on the same line, so it would be nice if I could find the equation of that line. Let's see what information we have. Well, we have a point here and a point here, and I'm going to ignore this one for now, so we'll just kind of not look over there. But let's say I have point A at negative 5, 2, and I have point B at negative 2, 3. That's all the information I need to find the equation of the line through those two points. So that's what we're going to do. We know that every line looks like this. Y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So all I need to do is find the slope of the line and the y-intercept, and I'll have the equation. So I have two points, and we have something called the slope formula that will tell us the slope of a line through two points. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 do the math, 3 minus 2, negative 2 minus negative 5 is negative 2 plus 5. There's my slope. So I already know that my equation looks like this. I found the slope. Now I have to find the y-intercept. And if you look back at your points, here they are. Are either of those points the y-intercept? No. A y-intercept has to have a 0 for the x-coordinate. This has negative 5. This one has negative 2. So neither of them are the y-intercept. But that doesn't mean they're useless. Let's take point A. Point A is if x is negative 5, y must be 2. Oops. Y must be 2. That's telling me that in this line, if x was negative 5, then y would be 2. And that means I'm going to do a sub double substitution for both x and y. So again, if x is negative 5, then y is positive 2. I could have used point B. It doesn't matter. I just picked point A. No reason. And now, all I have to do is solve for this funny-looking B. Do the math. So, negative 5 over 1 times 1 third. Solve for B. So, 2 plus 5 over 3 equals B. So, 6 over 3 plus 5 over 3 equals B. So, B is 11 over 3. And that means I know the equation of my line looks like this. So y equals 1 third x plus 11 thirds. But remember, the point of this question was not to find the equation of a line. The point of the question was to find x. So I found the equation of the line that pass through A and B, and now I need to make sure that x, comma, 8 is on the line. Sorry, my pen's being weird. So I need to make sure that the point x, comma, 8 is on this line. Well, y, 
clearly has to become 8. And when I let y equal 8, I'll be able to solve for x. So again, it all comes down to simple algebraic solving. So y equals 1 third x plus 11 over 3. And again, we have to let y equal 8. And now we just solve for x. So this time I'm going to multiply everything by 3 to get rid of those fractions. Subtract 11. I get x equals 13. The question said solve for x. I've solved for x. And that means... that the point 13 comma 8 is on the line with A and B. Of course, you'll be writing with proper pens and a little neater than me, but that's it. All done.